I want to show you here one of the heretics of Stephen Anderson's little following there. Actually, they come from this man right here, Jack Hiles, right there. This guy was an arch heretic, a very wicked man. I've been exposing him for a while. Total fraud. But they came out with this thing. Hiles came out with this thing of the word repent is not in the book of John. Therefore, repentance is not part of your salvation. It's not part of the gospel. And... Um, and here you see it, repentance of sins, heresy, the word repent is not in the Gospel of John. So let's get through this here. I know it's tough, but uh, let's watch this. Matthew Sutton here from Verity Baptist Manila, providing you another video on the topic of repentance of sins. And what I want to do is look at John chapter 20, verses 30 and 31, where the Bible reads, And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. It's saying that when you believe you have life through his name, it's talking about eternal life. Why do all of these Anderson preachers sound like Sodomites? You know what I mean? They'll get that little effeminate, effeminate little bit lift, that, the way they did talk. And they did. Let's continue. It's talking about people getting saved. And see, the book of John, the last two verses in John chapter 20, it shows us that the big focus of the book of John is for people to believe on Jesus Christ and get saved. You know, different books in the Bible have different main focuses. And the main focus of the book of John is to get you to believe on Jesus Christ, is to get you to receive eternal life. That's what we see in John 20, verses 30 and 31. So if the book of John is the book to help you believe on Jesus and get saved and go to heaven, if that's the main focus that John focuses on over and over again, the question comes up, how come you will never find the word repent in the book of John one time? You know, if repentance was required for salvation and the book of John was written that people might believe, how come you never see the word repent appear one time? You never see the word repent, you never see the word repented, you never see the word repented or repents, you never see a form of that word. You'll never find that word in the book of John and I would challenge you to read the book of John and then try to find that word because you're not going to find it. But you know the word that you find... <laughs> okay, uh, let's just stop right there, princess. Um, I do confront these guys, by the way. People say, oh, you just make videos exposing... No, I, I confront them on their channels. Right here's my comment. I say, uh, hey, princess, here's a good question for you. How many times does the word faith appear in the book of John? Is faith necessary for salvation? Hmm. Let me show you here. Here we have, let me cover this little effeminate guy up for a couple minutes. Um, the word repent. Right there, you type in repent. This is Sword Searcher, a thing I, software I use. Luke 17, verse 4, Acts 2, verse 38. Repent, repent. Yep. The word repent is not in the book of John. Oh, then that means you don't have to repent. <laughs> is it crazy? Uh, Luke chapter 22, verse 32, Acts 3, verse 16, faith, faith. The word faith is not in the book of John. But faith is necessary for salvation. See what I'm saying here? Crazy. How about belief? Belief only shows up one time, 2 Thessalonians 2, 13. Hmm. How about gospel? The word gospel. Go out and preach the gospel, you know. Uh, it's not in the book of John. Luke 20, verse 1, and Acts 8, verse 25. Hmm. How about the word church? Because you got to go to church if you're a good Catholic. Matthew 18, verse 17, and Acts 2, 47. Huh. So, I guess according to, uh, you know, Mr. Brilliant here, or young Mrs. Brilliant, or Miss Brilliant, whatever you want to call it, um, since the word repent's not in the book of John, then you can just kind of erase that. You don't need to repent or anything else. Well, then you also have to erase uh, faith, belief, gospel, and church. Oh, boy. Watch out for these heretics like this, okay? They all stem from this man right here, Jack Hiles. It's all a bunch of heretics that want to just tell you that you just say a prayer. You have this little intellectual thing that happens up here where you say, I'm now a Christian. And then you can go on messing around and doing all kinds of wicked things and whatever else. Just live like the lost world when you feel like it. But then when you go to church, you put on your little show, you know, so you look like a good Christian. And you go out and you do your little soul winning thing so you can damn more people, you know. You compass land and sea to make one proselyte. When he's made, you make him twofold more the child of hell than ye yourselves. All right. It's happened before. Okay. Matthew chapter 23.
Okay. <laughs> so uh, watch out for these Hiles cult followers.